Singing in broken rule Hound dog howling Bulls ball croaking Everything is broken Hi and welcome to another edition of Dad's Divorce Live. I'm Matt Allen, editor of dadsdivorce.com. Today we're talking with Allison Pesca Salido and Andra Brosh. They are experts in grief recovery and founders of Divorce Detox, a comprehensive divorce recovery program aimed to help people overcome the overwhelming circumstances that divorce can bring. You can find more about Divorce Detox at divorcedetox.com. Uh, so Allison and Andrew, thanks for joining us. Great to be here. Uh, you both have spent years coaching people uh, to transform their lives through uh, different kinds of stages of life. So what made you decide to focus on the separation and divorce phase? Well, there's a critical period in uh, a person's life where they're going through separation or divorce where it's just a major crisis. So they're either going to move on from that situation and make it a transition or they're going to get stuck in divorce. So we found that the program that we created was really needed to help people through that phase of their life. Yeah, I would add that I think Allison and I both really feel that divorce is an opportunity. You know, it's a life transition, and we felt that it was a time in someone's life where they really could gain a lot of wisdom and personal growth. So we felt really strongly about working with people at this particular time. Um, and there's just a, such a gap, you know, in society in terms of the struggles that people are going through when they're going through a divorce and the kind of treatment out there. So we really developed a paradigm that works and, um, you know, has been proven to work. So it's been amazing to sort of watch it grow and, and have this experience. There's a stigma in society that, you know, Great. divorce. It's like something that you want to whisper uh -huh. to your friends, and then people kind of stay away from you when you're going through the D word. And we see divorce, it, it is a major trauma, but at the same time, it's an opportunity to create a better life than you had in the past. And so we give people those tools and those skills to get there, but there's so much chaos and confusion and heartbreak and stress when you're going through separation and divorce that you don't even know what to do. So it really just was a, um, it, it was a really good fit. Mm -hmm. And on your website, uh, you mentioned that during a divorce, sometimes people are more likely to give you uh, that space to recover. Uh, whereas, you know, if you're, if you're married or something, you, you might not have as much time to work on, you know, your own problems since you're so busy with your wife and kids and, and a job. It is an opportunity. So, uh, you know, a lot of people just fill their days and their weeks with so many activities. They yeah. can't even manage just the busyness. And so when you go through separation or divorce, all of a sudden you have a lot of time. For instance, if there's custody, you know, half of the time, a lot of times you won't have your kids. So that time, at first it's really challenging. And then we teach people how they can really, it's an opportunity to get to know themselves right. and to develop interests. It's a really great period of time for self-development that otherwise, if you were married with children, you wouldn't have. And I think what we see a lot is, you know, a loss of identity. Yeah. That a lot of people suddenly find themselves, you know, being single and living a life that is very different from the one they had. So we, all, we also offer a lot of tools in terms of growing and rediscovering yourself and creating yeah. a new identity again. Yeah, that's a great point, getting back into the, uh, you know, your single life that you probably haven't been in for a while. Exactly. Um, could you talk about divorce detox and how it works and, and sort of the process and when you should begin the process? Is it once the divorce is finalized or during the separation phase? We feel like the best time to seek help is as soon as possible um, because we have found that the longer you wait, the chances are you're going to get more stuck. Um, so we really encourage people to seek help as quickly as possible. There's definitely, you know, a period of time where you're focusing and your priorities are on certain things um, right after you find out you're getting divorced or, sep or you become separated. Um, so we, our program generally is tiered. So we take people through a particular process 
um, from beginning to end through our program. And one of the first things we start people off with is building a foundation for themselves because it is like going through a war when you're going through a divorce and it can feel very alienating and alone. So we really, the first thing we do is get people grounded again and increase their support system and really work with them on taking care of themselves, you know, keeping up their nutrition, drinking water. Because, you know, no matter where you are, if you're just beginning a separation or, you know, it's been a while, you're in the midst of divorce or it's right after divorce, no matter where you are, you need to get grounded again. Mm -hmm. And we see people in all different phases. Yeah, and I, and, I, and I think what a lot of people come in initially feeling like they can't see their future, yeah. and we sort of can see it for them, and so we often describe it as sort of like, you know, guiding someone through the dark, and they really, it is a leap of faith, and they come in, and we can really hold that place for them of being able to envision the better life until they can get to a place where they can see it themselves. Um, so we sort of move into that and creating a vision for themselves and what it will look like for them when they're moving on. Um, and we address all of, you know, the underlying issues of the anger, the resentment, working on forgiveness, um, accountability of what went wrong in the marriage. Obsessive um, thinking. Obsessive thinking about your ex letting go. Right. Uh, so we really walk them through, and it's very much tiered toward um, where they are. So it's very specific to where we see the certain steps that people need to take before they can take the next step. So it's, we really designed it. Um, to work for people's experience going through this process. Well, finally, we, obviously our site deals with a lot of uh, divorced uh, men and fathers. So what advice would you have to, to guys uh, going through divorce, maybe post-divorce, who are, who are trying to get by on, uh, you know, maybe just self-help books or, or just relying on the support of uh, friends or family? What advice would you have for them? One thing is make appropriate boundaries when you're going through a divorce. You know, most people are well-intentioned, but they really don't always know what to do. So know who's on your team and who could really help and who makes you feel better. And then ruminating, just going over and over what happened yeah. or thinking about what the other person might do. Those are things that are really um, are, are detrimental. So you want to uh, learn different skills and there's cognitive behavioral programs out there, you could just check on the internet or go to the work.org, Byron Katie's uh, website for a free download on how to work with rumination. I'd say those would be really good things. Just um, whatever it is, just you know, move through it and treat it as a transition, not a way of life. Mm -hmm. And I, I would add to encourage people who are going it alone to ask themselves why they're going it alone. I mean, I know sometimes it's finances can get in the way of seeking help, but I think there's also a lot of stigma around seeking help for divorce, right. um, maybe even particularly for men on some level. Yeah, exactly. And I think that, you know, men who are high functioning oftentimes can't really accept or understand that this is a time in their life where they might not be at the level that they think they should be and there's you know there can be shame around that and difficulty seeking help so i think it's important just to ask yourself you know why am i holding off on getting help and you know would it be better if i did because i think there's a lot of obstacles that get in the way great well allison andrew thank you so much for joining us i really appreciate it sure so good to talk with you and to our viewers for more information again you can visit uh, the divorce detox website at divorcedetox.com That'll do it for this edition of Dad's Divorce Live. I'm Matt Allen, editor of dadsdivorce.com. We'll see you next time. Broken pipe, broken tool. People bending 